Hi guys, I'm Frank, one of the co-developers of the Gem Creator. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the features of the Gem Creator, and then I'm going to demonstrate how to cut and polish a stone using the Gem Creator. So a quick introduction, the Gem Creator at its heart is a grinding and polishing machine. It's controlled by a computer here, we control the computer and operate the machine using a keypad here. It has four motors, it has two motors to move it left, right, uh, front to back, and it has another motor inside here, which controls the rotation of this turret, which sets the angle of your stone against the grinding wheel or the lap. And then it also has one more motor here which controls the rotation of your stone against the lap, okay? So, uh, how do you know which angles to cut your pattern? We use a pattern such as one like this to give us the angles of the turret and the index. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to attach your stone, which looks something like this, to your dop. This is a keyed dop, it has a flat spot here. So you attach it to the other end here, and you can just use a bit of epoxy for that, two-part epoxy. It's not too difficult. Here's one that I did earlier. Okay, so we insert it into the machine like so. Make sure that the keyed or the flat part of the dop is upright, and we secure it using the set screw against that flat part of the dop, and just wiggle it to make sure that it's on the flat part. Perfect and then just finger tight, not too tight. Now the stone's attached. So there are three parts to cutting a tier of facets from any particular pattern. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zero the machine, then we're gonna set the angles for both the turret and the index, and finally we're gonna set our auto faceting routine. So let's go through these three steps in order. So to zero the machine, first we'll use press the set key, and we'll toggle over to the zero index function. We'll press the minus button, which will execute the routine. And you can see here, when I do that, it'll zero the, zero the index. Now the index is zeroed, we'll zero the turret. We'll toggle one more over using the set key. Same again, press the minus key here, and now the turret is zeroed. So now we've zeroed both the turret and the index, we'll go ahead and set the angles that we're gonna cut. So the angles for this particular pattern, just press the escape key here. Uh, for the turret, we're gonna set it to 44 degrees, so we'll just Simply use the turret adjusting keys here and uh, hold down this key here until we get to 44 degrees. All right, now the turret angle is set. Now to set the index angle, for this particular pattern, we want 11 and one quarter degrees. For, to get that quarter degree resolution, we need to adjust the number of facets per revolution. So to do that, we'll press the set key here and we'll use the OK key here to toggle the number of facets. You can see it's four at the moment. We'll toggle it all the way to 1440, which is the fine adjust. Now that we're at 1440 facets per revolution, which gives us that quarter degree increment, we'll escape and we'll use this key here to adjust the index. So we'll get, we're getting quarter degree increments and I'll just hold it down so we can go through it quickly. and now we're at 11 and one quarter degrees. Now for this particular pattern and this tier of facets, we want 16 facets per revolution. So we're gonna adjust this number of facets here per revolution again. Press the set key and the OK key to toggle it. It'll toggle, it'll start at two, four, eight, 16. And this is correct. Okay, so now we've, now we've completed step two. We've set the angle of the turret and the angle of the index. And now we're gonna move on to setting the auto faceting routine. So to access the auto faceting routine, we'll press this button here, which is the smiley faced robot button. The number of facets per rotation is 16, which is correct. The Y move in amount. So this is the amount of uh, travel that we're gonna ask the machine to perform, advancing it towards the lap per revolution. But in this particular pattern, we don't want any movement at all. So we'll just leave that at zero, toggle again. Number of swipes. So the number of swipes is the number of swipes that, that the machine will swipe the stone against the lap from left to right. Um, a typical number might be four or five or 10 or 20, depending on which step you're at. So we'll just, for this demonstration, we'll just leave it at four. Number of cycles. So the number of cycles is the number of times the machine will go through each set of 16 facets. So it's gonna, at the moment, it's gonna polish each facet. Uh, it's gonna swipe it four times 
and it's going to go through that whole cycle four times. But we can adjust this to 10 or 20 or 50 or whatever you need it to be for your particular stone. We'll just set it four here for our demonstration. So we'll toggle one more time. Now the auto faceting machine is ready to go. If I pressed OK, it would execute our routine, but we need to set the lap in motion first. So we'll press the lap toggle key here, which is like a disc lap shaped key. And when you press that disc, not only does it start the lap spinning, but it also starts the water delivery. So there is a pump here which pumps water onto the lap at a, at a certain cadence. And that allows you to automatically remove the debris from the lap and keep the dust down, which is important. Okay, so let's uh, adjust, use the keys here to push the stone up against the lap. And when the stone contacts the lap, you'll hear a you'll hear the grinding sound. Okay, there's the grinding sound. We're ready to go. Press the OK key. Okay, so now the lap is in auto faceting mode, and it'll auto, auto facet your your uh, your stone or your tier of facets. So you can see we're here. We're faceting. Um, 4 of 16, and we're incrementing the swipes. It's counting the swipes as well. You can see we're still on number cycle number 1 of 4. So we'll go through all 16 facets, and then increment this by 1, and then repeat again. So, if you need to interrupt the routine for whatever reason, you can just press this escape key here, or stop key. And that stops the routine. If you need to restart the routine, let's say you want to move the stone over a little, left or right, or forwards or backwards, you can do that here. And press OK again, and it'll restart the routine. But if you're done uh, with this routine and you want to escape, you just press the escape key again, and that brings you back to the main menu. So that's the core features of the Gem Creator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to take a stone, something that looks like, looks like this, and turn it into a beautiful faceted gem that looks something like this. All right, see you soon.